Barrett's going for a full beggar. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. I don't... Have you met my father? Take a look. All right then. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Greetings, Brother Elf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. Papas isn't too friendly with strangers, but you seem all awesome. What the The finest weapons and armor. You looking for a new blade? What are you doing that for? My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I mean apprentice. Some 
day, I'm going to forge my own sword. Need a ride? I can take you to... Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already... Need a ride? Solitude's been the capital of Skyrim as long as I can remember. Most of the high kings of Skyrim were Jarls of Solitude first. Well, let's see what else. Uh, the Bard's College is here, and the main office of the East Empire Company. If you need it, you can get a room for a fair price at the Rinking Skeever, just inside the main gate. Until next time. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here, or you'll end up like Rothbier. Turn Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. Get you on tell with her it. Uncle is Traitor. Betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Atvar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Traitor. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! Boo! On this day, I go to Sovngarde. You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. Cabbage. An apple to keep you healthy, a tomato to keep you strong. But surely you need one of I have other. no business with you. Leave me. You need something? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, 
and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. <clears throat> You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into- Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. Go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the Embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early. Often Welcome to the Thalmor the Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right now in. Then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. 
Please, Madam, tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this... <sighs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the of Arinthia course. Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. What can I get for you, sir? Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Mm-hmm. Until next time. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Your wish is my command. As long as it doesn't involve much physical activity. I seem to be having trouble staying on my feet at the moment. My friend, a toast to a beautiful friendship. Of course! I would do anything for you, my one and truest friend. What do you need from me? Is that all? <laughs> my friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone! Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our Master, mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Ugh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Let's go, let's go, before anyone notices us. In bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine! Get your hands off me. I'll be a good... So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malburn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't... Don't screw this up. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Did Good you luck. see those robes? You're on your own now. Is someone there? Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, 
the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim, and you are? Please, Madam tell me more about yourself. So what is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the of Arinthia course. Red? I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? What can I get for you, sir? Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. What does a, what does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. My friend, a toast to a beautiful friendship. Of course, I would do anything for you, my one and truest. Is that all? <laughs> my friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is... Somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? Yes, what do you need? I have an announcement. All right, then. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Helen Wen, our yes, mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Uh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would act So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy this time. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords, would we? Let me do the talking. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't. Screw this up. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrol might notice. Something's wrong. Good Did luck. you see those robes? You're on your own this morning. The world's gone to the world. More of the You're innocent. Dead. You're dead. That's the best you can do. That's all you got.
Why aren't you at your post, just this year? The Emissary? What's this about? Wait! Intruder! Why aren't you at your post just this year? And I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, Someone but there. do not presume. Yeah! In form. You are less. I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. I won't touch down! What was that? But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gissa. What was that? You're most useful, but do not presume. Ah! But I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you know. Silence! Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less... offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trust... me. I'd like to come down... Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no. Stop, please. I don't know anything else. What do you think? Told you already? Silence, you know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Miserable life! 
Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence. Get all ready. Move. Slowly. He's got to here somewhere. I'll I see you first. Ah. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
Yes. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. <laughs> that crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esburn was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. He'll know what it means. What is it? What is it? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. 